Good morning. It's Saturday, August 26th. I'm Rose. I'm Rhoda. <laughs> you were just eager to say your name, weren't you? <laughs> and I'm Rose. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the Something Good Morning Show. Hello. Hello. So what is something good? What's good? What's good? What's good in the neighborhood? Well, we just got back from a sister's trip to Texas, Dallas, Texas. And we survived the heat. We survived the heat. We're survivors. 110 <laughs> degrees one day. Oh my. You could feel it. No one was out. Yeah. And then it's great because they have such amazing malls that you could just escape to the mall. And I think everybody else yeah, did too. That's where everyone hangs out when yeah. it's excruciatingly hot. But what a fun excuse. Yeah. So great. <laughs> have to go to the mall. <laughs> just make a mall run. Yeah. They were saying. <laughs> so that was. Um, definitely something good. Mm -hmm. Another thing that was good was so soft serve frozen. Yeah, we cooled <laughs> down with some soft serve yogurt. Yeah. But this yogurt is only sweetened with honey. Mm -hmm. And they did have a dairy free version and then a regular. Yeah. Um, and they had the most epic toppings. They had these little gluten free. Amaretto, Amaretti cookies. Uh huh. Were just these little delicious pillows of cookies, and they even blow torched the marshmallow when you ordered it to put it on top. And that's really the selling point for me. Wow, mm -hmm. it's like campfire in your mouth. It's amazing, like yeah. just genius. But yeah, we were so excited to find just honey sweetened soft serve. Like what? That so, was such to say, a treat. We're going to be checking it out again when we go back. Yes. Yeah, that was like literally so fun. I mean, you just like can eat your way through Dallas. It's just oh, yeah. eating and shopping. I mean, hello, it's kind of what they're known for, but we don't mind. We participate. <laughs> We're here for it. Yeah. But anyways, I know a lot of the kids have already gone back to school. Um, some maybe are going In back to south. school. Yeah. After Labor Day weekend. Mm -hmm. um, but anyways, we did go to Magnolia and when we... We were just strolling through some of the shops and came across these backpacks um, mm -hmm. by Walker Goods. And they're just really cute. Um, the name is called Arrow, Arrow Backpacks by Walker Goods. And they have them for kids, so it's super cute for kids. But then they also have them for adults. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, depending on what your need is, um, they kind of have just different types of uh, backpacks and stuff. So it's like, ooh, mental note, check them out later. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they're really cute. Yeah, they're really cute. Um, anyways, we'll maybe put some pictures up of them mm -hmm. so you can see. But yeah, yeah, lots of just fun colors. Um, so yeah, I know there's like all kinds of things. We're noticing all kinds of trends at the mall. And it's like, oh boy, you know, obviously you guys know cargo pants are like in full swing and it's we're wild. still not participating. We're still holding out. I mean, I, can't I don't know. Get there. I can't do the like the grunge yeah. look. I just not just not there not there yeah so we'll see what else comes up that we may want to hop on you know mm -hmm. the fall train of yeah see the fashion fall trains are. Yeah. yeah but um and now food labor day weekend coming up you know it feels only right to like really celebrate with lots of fruit you know one last and hurrah on the fruit exactly and so obviously watermelon but do you like watermelon no I do not I mean she doesn't like watermelon never liked it I don't get it it's so strange <laughs> but anyways I know you guys probably have seen if you've been on Pinterest at all but you know like the watermelon feta salad oh, like yeah. you can do like little skewers with watermelon and then feta and um, I've even seen, seen like a mint sprig and then like uh, like a drizzling with a balsamic mm -hmm. glaze and yum just yum yeah, perfect and for I, a Labor Day yes picnic or barbecue mm -hmm. one last barbecue of the season Okay, and I've also seen where they do like watermelon fries with like a coconut oh, lime yeah. dip. Oh, it's like so mm. cute. I'm yeah. sure the kids would love it. Yeah. Um, and then also peach crostinis. So like, you mm. know, a slice of peach over um, sliced baguette with um, obviously a drizzle of balsamic mm -hmm. vinegar and a little honey and a little little strip of basil, you know, it's just like, yes. Gluten-free crostini, of course. Well, of course, yes. Um, it just makes the taste buds happy, just even thinking about them, kind mm -hmm. of salivating. salivating. Yeah, I am. Anyway, so like lots of inspiration yeah. of like these fun fruit mm -hmm. concoctions. Um, so let's see, 
Yeah, I just threw in the, the peach crostini for you specifically because I knew oh. you were into watermelon. Oh, yeah, thank so. you. Thank you. But um, I also wanted to mention if you are looking for a good balsamic glaze, I know that Costco used to have it, but you can find it, I think, pretty much at any store. Um, now it's called, it called Nona Piez. I believe hmm. that's how you I've say it. I've seen that brand somewhere. Yes. So they have just like their classic, which is basically just like balsamic vinegar from Italy and then just with like sugar like non-gmo cane mm. sugar um but then they also have this strawberry fig one that i'm like ooh, that sounds really good too mm. but anyways i remember like back in 2020 they were using this for everything on tiktok now i'm not really on tiktok anymore but like it was everywhere and i was just like gotta have a bottle like just use yeah. it for all these recipes and i mean literally it does make everything taste better i'm just gonna say mm. It really levels up. Yeah. The real question is though, do you say balsamic or do you say balsamic? That's true. That's true. Let us Are know. We butchering it? I don't know. <laughs> so I just want to, um, you know, if you just kind of want to have a little bit more fun and I mean, level things up. Yes. I love drinks. You know how we feel about drinks. I'm here for the drinks. But I'm also here for the sauces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the dippers. What is it? And the yeah, sauces. About, and... I mean, all the sauces. Like, give me all the sauces. So. Yeah. I love it. I do too. It just can change yeah. anything. It really can change a meal. So, yeah. Um, and now for, else we for fitness, that? um, you guys know we've been like battling wildfires. Mm -hmm. I mean, here Western Washington, we really haven't had an issue other than like we may we had a couple days there. Yeah, some smoky, overcast days, but it's other places definitely have fared far worse. Mm -hmm. But we still. You know, when the air quality is bad, we want to make sure we're indoors and not outside exercising. Mm -hmm. And it is right. amazing how many people still go outdoors, mm -hmm. just exercise. I'm still going to stick to my routine. Yeah. And it's like, hello. Doing more harm than good at that yes. point. So just stay indoors, stay indoors, crank the air filter, mm -hmm. keep the d windows closed. Yeah, when, when it says the unhealthy level, it really is unhealthy. Like, mm -hmm. That's doing damage to your lungs. So, yeah, yeah don't be that, you know what is it called i want to say like athlete warrior like or you know just no you're not doing any good being mm -hmm. out there so definitely steer clear of that but thankfully it cleared up here and now we have fresh air again mm -hmm. so yeah and you are gonna be doing a fun run yep the hood to coast is this weekend ready or not <laughs> <laughs> So it looks like the air quality is all cleared up from Hood Coast to Seaside, which is the route. So I'm very thankful for that because, man, I couldn't do it. If it was poor air quality, I would just have to pass. Like, I'm not doing it. Yeah. So it looks like it's all cleared up. And I have to report back next week to let you know how it went. I'm currently, as this is uploaded now, running. So, yeah, that's exciting. <laughs> yeah. So... That will be, it's amazing, people who, who love running. Not to say that it's just it's more, more like a, a challenge. Thing. It's a just team like, thing. Yeah, personal yeah. challenge. I'm mm -hmm. not a fast runner whatsoever, but it's just like, I don't know, just fun to be a part of and make memories and challenge yourself, you know? Yes, like, that's I'm the not key. saying I'm, yeah, runner by any means, but it is a good challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. And then just for some inspiration, mm -hmm. I was like, when we were on the plane back from Dallas, kind of going through some of my notes, deleting some, mm -hmm. and then I also came across a note where I had like all these quotes from Atomic Aww, Habits, and I was I like, that. oh my goodness, these were so good. Like, yeah. I seriously need to like make sure I like read them weekly, like keep them front of mind, because like, wow, these are like, what I need to like say law with some of these. <laughs> um, say law. Yeah, so one of them, two of them. Uh, one of the most effective things that we can do to build better habits is to join a culture where your desired behavior is the normal behavior. Oh. And then environment is the invisible hand that shapes human beha behavior. Mm, I'll let that sink in. <laughs> Just as like, okay. wow, that is so true. Yeah. That is truth, you know. Yeah. In I, a sentence. I, but... Atomic Habits. Habits is one of those books I feel like you can read over and over and Completely. just like, yes, yes, be reminded again, like, yes, I need this. Like, this is so good. Yeah. Staying on top of the habit, it's like a never ending journey. It's, yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't realize sometimes just like how much your environment is shaping mm -hmm. you. Like, 
you just have to be so aware of that because right. like you have to level up you kind of have to change your environment to do something mm -hmm. you know change your surroundings change right. the people you're right. you know finding people that will challenge you mm -hmm. and so right. yeah I just like wow okay right. what do I need to do with this right. what's the action step here right. and like as the saying goes like you never want to be the smartest person in the room or the wealthiest yes. or the most fit because that means there's nothing to aspire to mm -hmm. so you always want to be yeah. yeah in that environment of growth and like people who are doing more and reaching for more and mm -hmm. yeah no I love that yeah. yeah I love to when like you go through your notes I do the same thing and I'm like delete 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 and then I come upon something like oh yeah I forgot about that that's that's really good or mm -hmm. yeah yeah with quotes or just ideas I had or whatever mm -hmm. but yeah it's like wow I really <laughs> was creative back then or you know <laughs> Uh, gotta bring that back yeah exactly um and then also just was thinking about um mm, for some fun <laughs> yeah when we're in dallas as if we didn't have enough food <laughs> to choose from we also had to <laughs> place an order of course but, <laughs> gotta have um, snacks yeah um which i just got it today but it is the paleo valley mm. now they have different beef sticks um i don't have a wrapper to show you but this is just one of their bars lemon meringue superfood bar but it's made with um grass-fed bone broth protein mm. and then um i know how was it it was good i liked it really it. tastes like lemon meringue i would say it definitely tastes like lemon i mean the meringue it's a little what is a little hard yeah. to define but um i like it i mean i kind of like all things lemon to mm -hmm. a certain degree but then our sister also got red velvet, which I'm very keen to try. Mm -hmm. I did um, try that one last night. And thumbs up. I would not say it tastes like red velvet. But it, it tastes, tastes like a soft RX bar. Okay. I like the flavor, but I would just say it tastes like fruity to me. or reminds me of cherries, kind yeah. of. Yeah, okay. But, um, yeah, I would totally eat it. Yeah. It's definitely, ha like, it's healthy. Yeah. Um, It's not, don't, it's not going to feel like a candy bar maybe but mm -hmm. um yeah this I is would, just like a good protein uh, yeah fix i would something. totally eat it yeah. yeah it's not like well i'm gonna have a treat in a bar or something yeah um and then yeah their beef sticks are really good i tried like the summer sausage one mm. which was like yo so that sounds really mm -hmm. good yeah really good anyways it was just like a variation from choms because mm -hmm. i'm like a choms fan and so i just like oh mix it up and they yeah. were on sale so yeah Hence. we always like finding new <laughs> we do snacks and things to take with us on it's the plane travel friendly and, yeah, yeah all the things that hit all the marks you know? exactly so that's what we have for you um we hope that you make it a great saturday and that um you're just enjoying getting the most out of summer because it's like going by really quickly yes and we are declaring an indian summer here yes. in washington so we're not like embracing fall yet i know that um pumpkin spice yet. latte comes out next week oh, but we're <laughs> Still, you know what? Well, maybe we'll like post a recipe or something of a healthy version healthy of version, the, yeah. the PSL. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, um, I know people are all, all about this drinks, mm -hmm. but I'm like, not yet. Not I yet. Need to wait, enjoy summer. Sam, summer is my favorite season, and thankfully here in the Pacific Northwest, it does usually last through September, which is great. Yeah, but yeah, the, definitely the mornings are darker now. That's a bummer, but. Yeah. Life goes on. I mean, I love fall season. Don't get me wrong. I just need to wait a few more weeks. Yes, I like the fall season too. Yeah. It's just sometimes our fall season is just like oh, gray and drizzle and wow. I mean, I love getting cozied up yeah. and loungewear. Sign me up. Um, but I just don't necessarily. I just want the crisp air, mm -hmm. and I want to look at the you know leaves. Yep. But I also kind of want to see the sun mm -hmm. and still yeah. see some blue skies. So, yep. Yep. I hear anyways. You. Um, but anyways, we'll have more to report to you next week. So make it a great week. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.